Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we're doing a Dollar General haul. All right, we're going to get started with the most expensive items and then we're going to work our way down. I Dollar General has dollar sections and I mean one dollar not a dollar twenty five like literally one dollar amazing items I cannot wait to share those but to uh start with some of my favorite items uh they also have like gardening section like just the cutest decor uh I just like fell into a dollar general I'm obsessed with that's not near my house um they have like better items and like bigger selections and I'm loving it so the first thing is this little watering can. I think this is adorable. They had different colors. They had black, they had white, um, but I loved this green. It was $5, so it probably wasn't worth $5, but I think this would be a super great Mother's Day gift if we redo this and turn it into like a Mother's Day gift basket. Uh, so stay tuned, I will be doing a Mother's Day video very soon for you guys. Um, but anyways, I thought this would be really cute to put some fun things there, put some candy, put some flowers, whatever you choose. Um, and then you can add a decal or something to the front. And this would be a really cute decor piece as well. So it wouldn't just be a basket that someone has to store. Um, or they can use it outside to actually water their garden. So there's that five dollars let me talk about a little watering canister longer right this next one i do not think was worth three dollars but like i i had to have it it's this little wooden box it has a succulent in it i'm still i love succulents i just don't love them as much as i used to love them uh this was three bucks and like i said this one was probably on the more expensive side uh just for a tiny thing like this but i think the wood is like great quality and you can always pull out that succulent if you wanted and like did something else oh my other five dollar item was this trivet i could not i couldn't pass this up this is just the cutest thing i'm just gonna leave this as is i don't plan on doing anything with it i think it will just look great anywhere uh, in the kitchen, throw a candle on it, throw your spoons. I mean, you really, you could use the trivet, what the trivet's for. Uh, but for five bucks, I had to. Or if you want to redo it, add a decal to it. You can add a decal to anything. And like, that's what I love doing is just adding decals to everything and anything. So there we go. If you guys have not watched my thrifted videos, I do always throw Dollar Tree and Dollar General items into them. Uh, so make sure you check them out because it's, budget friendly and there's still a little good of dollar store everything in them uh but i did have some of these in recent videos uh these are three dollars from dollar general i've used the pig one i also used a cow one but i picked up another pig one and then at this other dollar general they had a chicken so this one's my favorite hands down uh farm fresh eggs homegrown i mean these little signs are three bucks and you just cut the back the little hanger off and you can use it for whatever you want so i had to grab those i still have everything in a bag and like now i'm a grown-up so i don't sit on the floor anymore i sit in a chair so see like the backing i'm literally sitting in a chair right now uh the floor was just like not having it i was i always crafted did everything on the floor and like now i just i have a hard time getting back up so we ain't doing that anymore. You know, you hit your later 30s and like it's all downhill from there. Like I don't even want to know what 40s and 50s will bring. Okay, so we're just going to hold on to this bag and then I'll just probably cut out me shuffling through because that'd be annoying. Uh, they have these little galvanized buckets. These are all the same. This one, they say flower market on them. I picked up three, only a buck and with a little bit of acetone or nail polish remover the the writing will come off or at least i'm hoping for the majority of things like this it does and i'm hoping it does because i plan on doing something really fun with the three of these crafting crafting wise i was like all this to actually craft with okay so yeah they had a like a new section of just like one dollar like one dollar it's like flashing all over the place i got these shelf liners and I think, I love this pattern. Hopefully you can get a good feel of that. I love this pattern. Also grabbed this one. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? One dollar and it is a 12 by 20 inch. And I honestly think it'd be great for like scrapbook paper. And like how cheap for a 12 by 20 inch. Um, 
sheets of scrapbook paper or sheets of uh, what is this shelf liner uh, but I think it'd be really great for scrap paper so it's what I plan on doing with they had three different colors or three different um, three different patterns but I just went with these these were my also uh, my other favorites this one was honestly my favorite it's these little tin plaques this one says market and then we got this one that says pantry does it it says welcome it doesn't say pantry I wish it kind of said pantry we don't have a pantry so uh, welcome will work I also grabbed four of these shaped hook decor is what they're called but they're shaped like little houses and they also had another one I don't remember what it was it was something that I was like Ugh, I don't want that <laughs> but I'm sure it was still really cute but one dollar I'm obsessed with one dollar things and obviously because I grabbed four of these little hook houses but these are going to be some really fun DIYs in the future I'm just going to do like a whole dollar general uh video I try to use what I have and what I buy so until my until some of my thrifted decor or like my yard sale goodwill items are used and the dollar general uh I also bought some stuff from Dollar Tree recently so I actually have like a lot on my hands right now but this video will be coming up these are only a dollar as well these little like tags with the beads these are so cute but when i went they had buy one get one free so these were only 50 cents a piece and they have that all the time on their home decor like i wouldn't say always and all the time and every day but there's always a sale on something so if you see that they have like buy one get one free on home decor i would run because you can grab things like this for 50 cents Sometimes that's unheard of, even a dollar. Like I would have probably bought these for a dollar if I would have seen them, but they were 50 cents a piece. These were also on the amazing little dollar area. Uh, this one, they're magnetic, um, like measuring equivalents. That's what they're called, measuring equivalents. Anyways, uh, they are called magnetic tin plaques, which I'm not really sure why they're called magnetic tin plaques, but um, this one is for like cups, ounces, teaspoons, milliliters. This is like, one tablespoon equals three teaspoons and I think these I don't know if you can really see these that good I think you can uh, I think these will be so cool to make and decor or they're magnets you can throw them on your fridge if you wanted uh, but I, I have an idea for these so I'm probably gonna do that these I went a little overboard on these were only a dollar as well in their like little dollar shamrock section like that's what the, it kind of looks like on the back side they're all like these like blue uh, they had houses, like house shapes like this. They had these like uh, longer shapes, home sweet home, which these are really cute. If you like these pieces, grab them and put them into your trays. They would be great for them. Me on the other hand, I'm going to be painting over these, redoing them. But if that's like not your style, you kind of just want to find something that is already cute and ready to go. I still say these are for a buck. Uh, and then I grabbed a couple of these houses right here. So this one has like a little gray roof. This one has a little wooden roof. And we got a teal one. And then they also had these like just square shaped ones. These were a dollar as well. well. Obviously they're all a dollar. But I just think these are great decor pieces. I already know what I'm doing with these. More than likely I'm sticking some Chalk Couture on this. And if the Chalk Couture doesn't fit, I'm probably going to stick something uh, with Cricut on top of these. Uh, just to make it a little more farmhouse. Uh, if you guys are not new to my channel and you watch it all the time, you guys know I love farmhouse. And I kind of swayed my way out of it for a while and then realized that kind of I was kind of unhappy doing what I do because I was doing things that other people liked versus what I liked which you guys know that's kind of hard so um full out farmhouse on this channel whether it's like outdated or out of style or whatnot like to each your own really right and I know a ton of people of you love farmhouse um and I don't go with the trends I I absolutely refuse to buy everything new because like a color couch is different or like repaint my walls like my walls are gray gray isn't like the cool thing anymore but like they're all turning back like they're all gonna be one color gray now not like five colors gray just like one color straight gray that's like that's what you're getting in this house and I say do what you love it's your house you decorate how you want right these little guys were also on the buy one get one free so these were a buck a piece. Like I said, that's I think that's a great deal. It's cheaper than Dollar Tree. And 
Look at that, right? So uh, I this one says Live Simply and Hello Spring. Cute. Uh, but I'm also going to be redoing these if I can find something small enough. I feel like when I make really tiny things on my Cricut, it just doesn't work out in my favor at all. Uh, anyways, and the very last thing, these are also one dollar. Not in the like the fun little dollar area, but still one buck. How cute are these? It says aloe on it. This one says sage, and this one says mint. I, I these are adorable. Like these are cute as is. I'm gonna leave them as is actually. Like I'm not gonna change these. But, like how cute would it be to like? I mean, look at this little like leather piece with like the little hook. How cute would this be like a chicken and a cow and a pig? So if this isn't something that you like and you want to redo them, it'd be so cute. But leaving these as is, only $1, great deal. You guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel. I would love if you stuck around and subscribed. If not, that's totally up to you, but uh, I would like it. It'd be fun, and uh, and you get to see how I redo all these items. Uh, but that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.